my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And today my gift to you is this uh, video about clearing negative portals in your own energy field as well as in your uh, environment. Uh, in this video I will explain what portals are, uh, how they affect us and how they come into existence. Uh, then we will have a guided meditation to see if there are any portals in your force field or environment and uh, we will look for the root cause and then have them closed and cleared by divine beings. Uh, this is uh, for advanced practitioners, especially the property clearing aspect. Uh, you know, that you have a battlefield there or some black sam magic ceremonies have been done there. Uh, this is better uh, you know, somebody left for the experts, uh, but you know, in your own body, this is uh, definitely something you may be able to do as a novice yourself too. Also, please accept only the information that resonates with you and understand that my knowledge comes from about 40 years of intense spiritual study practice in several thousand uh, past life regressions where I talk to the high self aspects of my clients, where I explore and help clear the root cause of their issues. And yes, I still do personal Skype sessions. Uh, just send me an, an email. So first of all, the definition, you know, um, so in my experience, um, the accumulation of dark chi, um, you know, attracts more dark chi and um, it brings in also the dark chi um, from other realities and if a certain concentration is reached um, you have um, what is considered a portal you know portal comes from porta and from latin it means door and in, in a way it acts like a black hole in in the way that it attracts uh, you know negative chi to itself uh, but in a black hole you know you take the matter from this dimension and then it goes somewhere else probably yeah we don't know for sure at least not a mainstream science uh, but with the portal um, you also bring in dark energy, you know, from other dimension in, into this one, and also entities can, you know, travel back and forth through those, at least energies, sometimes entities. And um, so portals in a body, um, they can um, bring disease, you know, in an affected area and lower the emotions, you know, like you become depressed, you know, sadness, which of course, you know, leads to other problems like alcohol or drug addiction, you know, suicidal thoughts, etc. Um, <clears throat> you know, of course, I mean, you know, when there's an accumulation of dark chi in an area, you know, this will lead to negative thoughts. And so, <clears throat> in our own um, body or force field, um, the root cause many times, you know, is uh, very intense emotions. Um, for instance, um, trauma uh, like rape, or trauma uh, like flesh wounds or uh, torture. Um, I had one client uh, quite recently, you know, where there was you know, um, quite like a dark portal in the middle of the body. I mean, this person had all kinds of issues there. And when we get into the root cause past lifetime, you know, we saw that this person was trapped in front of a cannon, you know, and then blown to pieces, of, especially in that area. And so this intense uh, trauma, you know, created you know, a portal there that had to be closed. Um, also, portals uh, can be created, you know, by enchanted um, weapons, I, I call them. Uh, so there are different levels of enchanted weapons. <laughs> um, some of them are just, 
you know, done through the magic of uh, blacksmiths, you know, incantations. And uh, but then when you, you know, look at uh, like uh, the alpha, the alpha draconians, you know, which are the rakshasas of the Hindus of the Vedas. Uh, so uh, their weapons, I find in my uh, past life regression with clients that were part of the battle of Kurukshetras, you know, you Hindus know uh, what that was. So uh, the Rakshashas or Alpha Dakunians uh, that were fighting them um, were actually using weapons that would cord um, the uh, people and create portals um, through which they would be sabotaged in subsequent lifetimes. Um, so magic weapons, uh, even of a high-tech nature, um, you know, can cause that. Um, I would say a magic, you know, maybe astral weapons, it's a better term. Um, and then also, you know, strong deposits of dark emotions, you know, from yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Put all your anger into your stomach, you know, and then you get cancer, so to say. Uh, or others. You know, and the projection of others, you know, when they hate you, this and this for a long time, um, you know, this can, you know, create, you know, a negative portal in you, just through the accumulation of negative energy. And uh, then, of course, you know, there are all kinds of black magic, you know, ritualized visualizations that uh, have been done and that can be done, right? So uh, let's just, you know, go over this again. So, you know, uh, the intense concentration, you know, of um, energy in a certain area can create a portal. And um, of course, if it's negative energy, it becomes a dark portal, what we are concerned about. And also, you know, advanced beings can uh, create those portals, you know, mind focus, of course. And um, also, you know, uh, persons with very strong energies, uh, you know, energy fields around them, you know, it can open up those things too. Um, you know, this whole poltergeist phenomena, you know, that are uh, charged up by a vibrant young know, teenager, <laughs> for instance, uh, you know, or um, I knew several mediums, you know, uh, that would blow out a more sophisticated recording equipment. <laughs> You know, uh, the electronics couldn't take it. Um, so these things actually happen. Uh, and of course, also, uh, you know, with a strong will, you, know, you can open portals. Um, just got to be really careful with this. And uh, for instance, uh, even, you know, when people use uh, Ouija boards uh, or something like this, you know, you can uh, open a portal. Happened in many cases, you know, documented cases. So not a good idea. Um, to do something like this, you know, especially not without protection. Uh, now, um, let me talk a little bit sharp, you know. So, uh, I had several clients in a row uh, that were all um, nurses. And so, nurses in uh, trauma uh, wards, you know, uh, emergency operation room, uh, as well as in uh, mental institutions. And of course, you know, those ladies came to me, uh, you know, they could start, they started seeing all the ghosts, all the discarnate, you know, spirits that are cruising around. And, you know, they were asking for help, you know, on how to deal with this. Um, so, and we uh, took the opportunity, you know, to look at the energies, you know, in certain hospital floors. And uh, so we saw that there were um, dark um, portals in certain areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we asked, you know, um, how those dark portals, you know, would act, um, you know, um, you know, in one case it was shown um, that, um, you know, it would suck basically the life force, you know, out of the the, the client or the patient. You know, that would be stationed in that area. And the nurse kind of said, yeah, you know, in certain areas, people, you know, you put them there, you know, after two, three days, they're dead. 
and nobody knows why, no explanation. So you know, there was the explanation. Um, you know, of course, it affect you know whole areas like you know in one case a portal negative portal was in a cafeteria, and yeah nobody liked to be there and you know nobody was happy in that area when they were sitting there and you know it uh, created you know bad energy there. Um, <clears throat> And um, also, uh, you know, I saw a lot of uh, portals, for instance, in, in Ireland, you know, where ceremonies were done, um, you know, to hurt other people, you know, uh, black magic ceremonies, for instance. But, you know, there was a high concentration of those things there, but in other countries too. Um, so, <clears throat> I even, you know, came across this in Los Angeles, you know, one old, new, big established hotel, um, where there were portals there, and in uh, previous times, uh, when this was a new hotel, um, black magic ceremonies were done, uh, with human sacrifices, you know, on behalf of certain actors that later on became, you know, in next incarnation became famous. Uh, so these uh, activities, you know, create uh, uh, portals there. Um, for instance, now in the hospital, you know, it was shown, um, nobody did a dark ceremony there, but, you know, there is so much suffering, so much anguish there, you know, fear, you know, especially also in mental institutions, you know, there is a lot of dark chi, and uh, then this gravitates, you know, together, and then sooner or later, is there is enough there, and you got a portal. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, then things go worse. Uh, so, <clears throat> you know, as the reason for portal to exist, we have accumulated pain and negative energies, you know, also like torture, sacrifices, uh, battles, uh, slaughter, slaughter of animals, slaughterhouses, you know, um, also uh, burial grounds. Um, also, you know, black magic was sometimes performed, you know, to attack other people, as well as, um, you know, dark technologies um, from, you know, other than human beings, you know, that have been used. And all this exists. Uh, now, you might Ask yourself, you know, so why does God or divine power, you know, allow something like this? You know? And uh, so many people, you know, that I know, you know, have been wrestling with these ideas and questions, and uh, you know, especially when they have seen war. You know, uh, so so many people people have uh, lost their faith, you know, when they have seen the atrocities of war and what human are capable of doing, you know, and then the question is, you know, why is this allowed by an all-loving God, you know? And so the answer is, you know, uh, well, this is a free will universe, and this seems simplistic, uh, but uh, for instance, you know, in this level of creation where we are right now, I mean, we are not on the angelic plane here, <laughs> in the physical bodies, you know, this, uh, let's call this the level of duality, you know, too hot, too cold, <laughs> you know, uh, not enough food or too much food, so to say. Uh, so in, in this reality, um, you know, f we uh, need uh, villains, you know, in order to have heroes. Uh, you know, um, the villain, the dark side, you know, is a catalyst, you know, for consciousness to experience itself. Um, and so therefore we need uh, free will. It's like, you know, we're coming together as stage actors here. So somebody's going to play the hero, somebody is supporting, and somebody is the villain. You know, but uh, ultimately everybody is just an actor and they're all friends. So on the high self level, on the highest level, you know, we are all divine beings, uh, very angelic beings, but then when we go further into the material manifestation, some of us, you know, choose a more service to self sight and get contaminated, more or less. You know, and there is no black and white, absolutely not. 
um, so, um, you know, again, the Hindus, you know, call this Leela, you know, the divine, the eternal divine uh, game. And, um, so, and in this dimension, you know, this kind of um, thing, the struggle between the dualities will always go on. It seems that's it's the aspect of you. Um, you know, also, for instance, you know, when you have love and then there are obstacles like separation, you know, um, this love can become stronger. And uh, so, also, you know, there is this aspect, um, you know, why do bad things happen to us? It's like the karma, you know, what we sowed in, in past lifetime, you know, also has to be reaped. And a lot of light workers nowadays have actually practiced, you know, the dark arts in past lifetimes. You know, and, and it's also in Hindu scriptures, you know, there are many incidences, you know, where pure divine beings, you know, um, incarnate, you know, in dark roles to fulfill a role, and then once it's over there, you know, go back into the higher consciousness. Uh, so this is uh, many times just for particular reasons. Um, you know, um, we are all aspect of source, so to say. And um, <clears throat> so, but, uh, you know, uh, past life uh, karma uh, also uh, will explain a lot of uh, bad things that happen to so-called good people. And I can attest to this and um, with so many past life regressions, you know, uh, that the victims of nowadays were the villains of past lifetimes. Also, you know, suffering forces us to look for root causes, you know, and then get self-realized in the end. You know, if your foot wouldn't hurt, you know, you would never look, and then you would never maybe find the rock that's in your shoe. Right? And um, so uh, that's another thing, you know, um, suffering forces us to look for a solution. And uh, again, you know, these uh, things are catalysts, you know, like, um, you know, facilitating transformation, you know, like the carrot or the stick. And the stick is the pain and the gore and the carrot is the love, peace and bliss. You know, these are all things that move us forward. So, let's just uh, get into the guided meditation now. So, I suggest that you, you know, sit comfortably in an office chair, uh, just like I'm doing uh, right now. Uh, you know, where your back is nicely supported. If you have a strong back, you might just sway back and forth, like in the Sufi grind. Um, if you want to go to sleep, this is also okay. You can lay down. Uh, and uh, but uh, you might just pass out that you will definitely have benefit um, from this uh, but you may not be aware of this you know so if you want to stay aware i suggest that you sit up straight uh, also uh, use earbuds uh, or headphones you know to get a better sound quality and no distractions and uh, definitely when this is a podcast and do not drive or operate heavy machinery. You know, this stuff is designed uh, to space you out. So, you know, not a good idea. Uh, and, and also, do not try to smile um, because you will not have access to higher dimensional energies unless you smile and vibrate at a certain love frequency. And especially if you are sitting up, I strongly suggest that you initially, you know, breathe at a very strong pace, you know, to purify your energy field, to purify your chakras. You use your breath like a leaf blower, right? Like, You know, but always um, breathe through your nose, you know, not through your mouth, um, otherwise this diverts your chi from the chakras. Um, I just did this because <laughs> noise suppression. Um, also, you do not have to repeat my affirmation, but, um, you know, align with it. Say, Amen, or Swaha, or so be it, you know, and whatever, not your head. Uh, it is your life, your intent that counts. And um, yeah, be in a childlike uh, 
you know, state of innocence. Um, later on, you can always uh, dissect it with your mind, but do not do, um, you know, it when you, you know, in the experience yourself, even symbols, just pay attention, see what it is. Later on, you can figure out, you know, what it means. Uh, also, when you lay down, you know, I suggest you place one hand over your heart and one hand over the solar plexus. Uh, you might want to use some crystals, you know, on your heart truck and maybe something pink or something obsidian, black, you know, to get into the, uh, you know, undiscovered, you know, side uh, that you haven't seen before. Okay. And uh, now, uh, close your eyes, and uh, we uh, connect to Absolute Source in its most pure way. Let's just draw the love from Source from all sides into us and send our love back to all sides. Mm -hmm. And we also now pull in our own higher self. I see that above myself. Pull that in and send your love back with a smile, with your breath. And we connect to our spirit guides that have been approved by our high self. And send your love back to them. And we connect to the Milky Way galaxy. Inhale that love. Send your love back. And our local sponsor, the sun. Inhale the sunlight and send your love back. Deep breathing, smile like an idiot. Yeah. And now pull in the love from the earth, mother, into your heart. And back and forth. And we thank all those beings for coming, and we ask that everything that happens in and from this meditation is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. Swaha, so be it, and so it is. We also ask that, you know, you have a great time doing this. This is completely healing for you. That you're free from any attack and manipulation of the service to self sight, you know, of the unlight beings. You're completely protected and surrounded by love and light. Mm -hmm. the, yes. Amen. And we also ask that source and representation like Archangel Michael or you know other qualified beings like Lord Shiva for the Hindu tradition. You know, as remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Grey, magicians or other predatory courts and devices, and any other technology from every level of our being, from any incarnation in any time or dimension, now, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. So it is Amen, Amen, Amen. One, two, three, so it should be kicking in now. Oh, observe the shift in energy. Now imagine that you're pulling from Milky Way Galaxy from above the head, from the center, this beam of loving light into your heart, onto the inhale, and on the exhale. To just expand your heart with this love and light that you're pulling in. 
and this liquid love and light just dissolves any blocks, any blobs, any clouds of darkness and pain, any stabbing pain that you feel there. Mm. Wherever you find pain, you know, you just pull that loving light in to dissolve it. Uh -huh, and you smile like you need it and you make this as bright as you can, even just as bright as a welding torch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now we ask our own divine consciousness, you know, to give us a sensation of a yes, which would be a flow of energy from the heart to the head. Please give us a yes now. Amen. And if this did not knock your earphones up, you know, just ask another time. Please give us a stronger yes now. Amen. And now ask to be given a no, which is a flow from the heart to the feet, kind of a downer. Please give us a no now. Amen. And one more time, this time even stronger, so it knocks us off, our socks off. So one more time, please give us a no now. Amen. All right, so now first real question. Is there a negative portal, you know, in our personal force field? Yes or no? Let's ask one more time. Is there a negative portal in your force field? Yes or no? And if you got a yes, now ask, you know, uh, how many? Maybe there's one, maybe there are three or four. So how many negative portals in your body? Amen. And now ask, uh, uh, you know, where in your body is the most destructive one? We just want to focus on the most destructive one. And later on, you can, you know, in another meditation, you can go to the second most destructive one. Mm -hmm. So where is the most destructive one in your body? Amen. Uh -huh. And now ask, this is from this lifetime? Yes or no? And if it's from this lifetime, ask, you know, which age? And then ask, what happened? Now, if it's from a past lifetime, ask, were you a male in the past lifetime when that happened? Yes or no? Were you a female in that lifetime? Yes or no? And sometimes, you know, this has been similar in life. You know, so, but we focus on the most destructive, only one at a time. Now, in that lifetime, did you die a natural death? Yes or no? Did you die a violent death? Yes or no? If it was a violent death, was it an act of passion? Yes or no? Was it an act of warfare? Yes or no?
Was there trauma like rape? And what is the effect in this lifetime? Was there trauma like flesh wounds or torture? And what is the effect in this lifetime? Were there enchanted weapon used? What is the effect in this lifetime? Were there acts of ritual magic? And what is the effect in this lifetime? And if it was ritual magic, what was the purpose of the ritual? Was the purpose of the ritual to empower a curse, yes or no? Was the purpose of the ritual to bind you as a bitch or as a battery to your master, yes or no? Was the purpose of the magic to steal your special gifts like beauty, prosperity, etc.? And what is the lingering effect of this magic in this lifetime? And is there still a strong deposit of dark emotions from that? Yes or no? Are there also still strong deposits from others, from their dark emotions onto us, just their hate or something like this, yes or no? Are there also effects on you um, from black magic visualizations that are very bad for you, yes or no? And what kinds are those? Now the question is, did you also do this to other people in past lifetimes, yes or no? And ask now, do you know the people that did that to you, you know, in, in this lifetime? Are you incarnated with them now in this lifetime, yes or no? And now the big question, you know, who done it? You know, who did this? And do not be surprised if your spouse or your brother, sister or your parents were part of this. You know, very likely actually, very, very likely. And now we ask Absolute Divine Source and all, you know, what we consider Divine Spirit. Divine Spirit, please release all hooks, devices, chains, and other forms of bindings and limitations like rings, plates, spikes, spells, curses, contracts, promises, vows that were put Unto me or the others, sacrificed victims, bodies, mind, spirit, complexes in these rituals. 
that include structures, thought forms, devices, entities, orientations or effects associated with these following curses across all incarnations, all space, all time, all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions and the world. Now. Amen. And so it is. Swaha. Also, please now, my dear Ascension teams that come from love and light, please bring any stray ghost and soul fragments into the Arcturian love healing and Ascension temples. Reunite them there with other lost loved ones from the astral planes. Mm -hmm. And show them there in the higher perspective on their life. And help them to forgive each other. Uh -huh. Once they forgive each other, when we ask that you know their karma will be cleared by divine grace and divine love from the cosmic Christ. And that they be escorted, you know, with their loved ones into the heavens, so-called heavens. And that all their baggage is being cleared, you know, from, from the timelines. Mm -hmm. And then bring the soul fragments back now. Amen. 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 And then breathe earth love into the heavens. And you will feel an upflow of energies into the heavens. And I suggest that you do the Ho'oponopono, Pona, just in mind, just follow along with me and in emotion. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. Have a great time in the heavens. And just take earth love into your heart and send it into the heavens through your crown tracker that will help them. Mm -hmm. Just keep breathing earth love into the heavens. Smile. Uh -huh. And send that love and light into the heaven that keeps them a bridge. And we ask the divine ascension teams that come from love and light to bring them into the proper heavens. Mm -hmm. No forced reincarnation. Mm -mm. None of that. None of that. Mukti. Yes. Liberation. Yes. We ask source for the special grace. Just stay with us and keep projecting love from the earth into the heavens. And we ask that as those beings are leaving, that again their baggage be cleared from us. Amen. Amen. And smile, 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 smile. And you're surrounded by divine beings. And this might be going on for some time. Now let's just focus, you know, make sure you're residing in your heart. Mm -hmm. Just pump love from heaven and earth into your heart. And now ask the question, you know, do I have any negative portals on my property? Yes or no? 
And just one more time, do I have any negative portals on my property, yes or no? And if you get a yes, just how many? And now please show us the most destructive one. Um, And now please show us the reason for this portal to exist. Um, and some of you may already get a vision or get an idea of what happened, get an inkling, but let's just uh, massage this a little bit more through simple yes and no questions. Mm -hmm. Did this portal you know, come through a natural death and suffering, yes or no? Did this portal originate through accumulated pain and negative energies, yes or no? Was there violent death? Yes or no? Was the death an act of passion? Yes or no? And we, with passion we may like rejected love, hate, anger, you know, something personal, revenge. Was this a uh, portal due to the act of warfare, yes or no? Let's say, has there been a battle, yes or no? Has there been slaughter? And this could also include animals. Mm -hmm or sacrificing, let's say, maybe nature beings, like fairies, mm -hmm. gnomes, so there has to been slaughter, yes. Has there been torture, yes or no? Has there been a burial ground? Yes or no? Has there been black magic? Yes or no? Have there been sacrifices? You know, dark sacrifices? Yes or no? Is dark technology involved? Yes or no? So, with this, you know, portal, this negative portal, um, what is the effect onto you in this life? Amen. What is the effect onto the property? Let's say the mood. How about the plants and animals in the area? And how does it affect the people living on the property? So let's go over it again. Was there an act of ritual black magic, yes or no? What was the purpose of the ritual? Amen.
were humans, animals, or nature spirits sacrificed to empower a curse, yes or no? What was the nature of the curse? Was it to steal your special gifts like power, prosperity, beauty, fertility, etc.? Yes or no? Was it to hurt certain people? Yes or no? Were you a victim in that sacrifice? Yes or no? Were you a willing participant in this sacrifice? Yes or no? What is the lingering effect of the magic in this area or in this reality? Were you a participant, you know, an originator of the sacrifice? Yes or no? Is there still a strong effect of the sacrifice in your life? Yes or no? How do the trapped beings that were sacrificed affect the area? do the trapped being that was sacrificed affect you? Did you do this to other people too in past lifetimes? Yes or no? Did you do this to other people in past lifetimes too? Yes or no? Do you know the people that did the sacrifice in this lifetime? Yes or no? And now the big one, and who are they? Dear Divine Spirit, Source of Everything, please release all hooks, devices, chains, and other forms of bindings and limitations, like rings, plates, spikes, spells, curses, contracts, promises, vows, that were put onto me or the other sacrifice wisdoms, bodies, mind, and spirit contracts in these rituals. That includes structures, cords, thought forms, devices, entities, orientations, or effects associated with these felling curses across all incarnations, all space, all time, all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all soul systems, all dimensions, and the void. Now, Amen. And so it is. Swa. Ha! Huh. Now please bring also all trapped entities and soul fragments into the Arcturian love healing and ascension temples. Amen. Um, you know, collect the non-light beings and bring them to divine justice and clear them then from this reality if this is for the highest good now. Amen. Um,
the beings that are in the Arcturian love, healing and ascension channels, we ask that they be kindly reunited with other lost loved ones that are still cruising the astral planes as a sign of goodwill and that they all be shown the higher perspective on their incarnations now. Amen. And we asked for a big outpouring of love and light from the cosmic Christ unto them. And please help them, teach them about forgiveness, help them with forgiveness, and as they forgive, clear all the bindings, all, you know, all the burdens from them. Curses, spells, promises, contracts, karmic courts, you know, whatever it is, all the baggage, clear, 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 clear. And we ask the beings of love and light and the earth goddess Gaia and Bumi you know, to then close all these portals, you know, in our bodies, in our environments. Mm -hmm. We transmute the dark chi and send healing love to the area and the connected reality. And we ask that the spirit beings that got negatively affected, you know, and to be based in healing, love and light and be elevated to whatever is for the highest good now. Um, and smile and just pull in love and light, you know, uh, from heaven and earth into your heart on the inhale and either send it to the own, you know, previous place where that negative portal was in your body or in your environment. This is up to you. So now start projecting. Smile and breathe deeply. And we thank all those beings that came and helped, you know, clear those portals and release the trapped beings and clear um, any trauma that is left. We thank them so much. And we asked that uh, whatever is still left also be cleared up, whether it's entities or energies or portals. Also, any inappropriate courts, mm -hmm. and let's say between you and me, for instance. Uh, yeah, whatever is not for the highest good, we like to have cleared now. We also asked any soul aspects of us that can return to us now, that left before, that I'm not putting up with this, mm -hmm. <laughs> that can come back now due to the purification. We invite those to come back. Of course, in a purified state, in their most auspicious form to us now. Amen. Um, smile, 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 smile. Mm -hmm. And, oh yeah, nice. Mm -hmm. And we also ask that our subtle bodies be updated. Mm -hmm. It, uh, default programming, you know, I mean, defect programming be removed, any sabotage be removed. But our subtle bodies, you know, be uh, completely aligned, realigned, and integrated with our physical body and perfectly charged up and then sealed so the energies cannot be stolen by the service to self sign. And now, uh, we will be back in vacant day consciousness, unless you're going to sleep and should be sleeping. One, two, three. Fully grounded. Well, welcome back, my friends. Uh, drink about a liter of water. And you should feel lighter. And of course, you know, this is a shotgun meditation and uh, may not clear everything that is there. You know, uh, if you are novice and you have battlefields or black magic stuff there, you might need some help. 
you know, um, sent me an email and most likely can help out. Um, so, uh, <laughs> you, know, you might do this again. Um, also, I have to say, you know, um, practice. If you have problems with the energies in your place, I have several videos on house clearing. You know, all should be practiced. And it's very important. I mean, you wash your clothes too. And in the same way, uh, energetically, you know, your house should be also cleared or your living space on a very regular basis. And you feel, will feel a lot better. It really makes a big difference. Um, of course, you know, watch any other videos too, um, you know, that I have available. And they all cover different aspects of your spiritual reality, and they all are very important. Uh, most likely, they apply to all of you. Mm -hmm. Of course, clearing also depends on insight, you know, about lesson learned, level of forgiveness, and so on. And, you know, many issues have to be looked at in greater details before they can be released. So, and, you know, when, you know, the lesson or the insight has been gained, you know, many times the trauma just disappeared. So the insight is kind of like the trauma, like the homework, sorry, the homework you got to do. You know, good parents like Source will help with the homework, you know, but don't do it all. So, you know, of course, um, I can do private sessions with you that can help a lot and uh, speed up the cleansing. I mean, this is, uh, things go nowadays at breakneck speed, you know, as the Maya foretold, you know, the speeding up of time. And of course, they meant psychological time, you know, not physical time. Um, so psychological time, you know, uh, speeds up and well, um, you know, you have to stay very, very grounded, you know, and to drink a lot of water for the purification you know, and try to have positive thoughts. So, yeah, so the information density of these Gada meditation is very, very high. There's a lot packed into this. So, you know, um, it's a good idea to regularly listen to those meditations, you know, maybe once a month or whenever you feel called to going through this. And um, so, uh, I love you, you know, give me a thumbs up, um, so this uh, stuff rates well on the internet. And, uh, you know, watch my other videos, send me an email, share your experience, I read all, you know, your messages. And I was dead.